Good Friday morning, everybody. Today is, it's Friday, July the 17th, 2020. And today we are in the Word of God. And today we are reading 1 Corinthians chapter 10, part of our Corinthians series. The title is Warning Against Idolatry. And this is what the Word of God says. The Word of God says this. For I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. Amen. Jesus is the rock. Nevertheless, with most of them God was not pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things took place as examples for us, that we might, might not desire evil as they did. Do not be idolaters, as some of them were, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test as some of them did, and were, dis and were destroyed. <coughs> destroyed by servants. Nor grumble as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as an example, but they were written down for our instruction on whom the ages of the on, on whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore let anyone who drinks I'm sorry, therefore let anyone who thinks that that he stands take heed lest he fall. <clears throat> no temptation has overtaken you that is com that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Endure it. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. The cup of blessing that we bless is not a is is it not a not a not a participation in the blood of Christ? The blood the bread that we break is it not a is it not a a a participation of the, in the body of Christ because there is one bread we who are many are one body for we all partake of the one bread consider people consider the people of Israel are they are those not are those are not those who who eat the sacrifice sacrifices participants in the altar? What do I what do I imply then that food offered to idols is anything, or that an idol is anything? No, I imply that that what pagans sacrifice they offer to demons, and not to God. You see, we talked about this yesterday. If you want to go back, go back and watch the video from yesterday. I do not want you to be to be participants with demons. Demons, you cannot drink drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Shall we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than He? All things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. Eat. Whatever is sold in the meat market without raising any question on the ground of conscience. For the earth is the Lord's and fulfills thereof, and the fullness thereof. If any, if one of the unbelievers invites you to dinner and you are disposed to go, eat whatever is set before you without raising any question on the ground of conscience. But if someone says to you, this has been offered in sacrifice, then do not eat it. For the sake of the one who, who informed you, informed you, and for the sake of conscience, I do not mean your conscience, but for his. For why should my liberty be determined by someone else's conscience? If I, if I partake, partake with thankfulness, why am I denounced because of 
that for which I give thanks. So whether you <clears throat> so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that many, but that of many, that they may be saved. All right, just a quick rundown. And we talked about this yesterday. Or not yesterday, but uh, but actually two days ago. Sorry, it was in chapter 8. Uh, we talked about food offers to idols. And Paul just basically said what he said in chapter 8 about not eating food and winning against idolatry. Idolatry is anything that takes the place of God. Now, I know a lot of people who are on my social media, they comment, they they say, I'm their idol. Do not ever place me above God. No. Do not. I don't want, I don't, I don't want that. I want God to get the glory, not me. Okay? I want God to get the glory, not me. I'm going to finish up. I love, this is my favorite verse, 1 Corinthians 10, 31. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. And so that that's a wonderful question. What are you doing that glorifies God? Remember, everything you do is the glory of God. Whether you eat, drink, marry, have ha, ha, have intimacy with your spouse, raise your kids, go to work, whatever it is, whatever, whatever you do, you do to the glory of God. That means whatever you do, he gets the glory for it, no matter what it is. How are you doing? Are you living your life for the glory of God today? If you aren't, I want you to live your life for the glory of God. Think, starting today, starting Friday, July 17th, I want you to look at everything from the, spe- uh, from everything from the perspective that you are glorifying God no matter what. Everything you do, you are glorifying God. Okay, guys, that's my message for you guys today. So, guys, So, guys, I want you to... Please hit that wonderful subscribe button. Hit the notification bell twice to get notified. To get to get notified of of, of when I post a new video or video or when, I, or when I go live. So please like this video, share this video with your with your family and friends. Comment down below. Hit the like button. Continue continue to watch all these videos. Make these watch hours just go up and up and up. Guys, have a great day. God bless and remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day.